Bay Nature Reserve is a unique area on the Cape Flats, situated between False Bay and Table Bay, 23 kilometers from Cape Town's city centre. For tourists, the most important sections are the two lakes, Ronde Flay and Siku Flay, and the man-made Strandfontein Pans. Although Ronde Flay focuses on conservation, some of the recreational activities include bird watching, walking, fishing and picnicking. There are two observation towers with telescopes along the northern shore and six bird hides which are accessible via a wheelchair friendly path around the edges of the lake. A small population of hippos was introduced in 1981. Don't expect to see them on your first visit. They are mostly nocturnal creatures and there are numerous pans, channels and reeds for them to hide in. The Leonard Gill Field Museum, close to the Rondeflay entrance, provides simple but effective illustrations of the flora and fauna of the reserve, with its accompanying challenges. Is it the bonds for this from here, or from Scandinavia? False Bay Nature Reserve received its Ramsar status on World Wetlands Day, 2015, 2nd of February. At the time it became South Africa's 22nd Ramsar wetland. This is a unique Ramsar wetland because of its urban location. Eland antelope is being reintroduced into the reserve. Here the young eland calves are seen in a boma, but they were subsequently introduced into the felt at Rondeflay. Western leopard, Metophrynus. Pantherinus. Sikufle is the main recreation node of the reserve and is a popular yachting, canoeing and fishing venue. The Sikufle Yacht Club and Sailing Centre are the hub for most sailing activities. Water-based recreational activities such as sailing, fishing, rowing and limited power boating take place at Sikufle. Picnic sites with built-in bra facilities, paved roads, neat and eco-friendly ablutions are open for public use along the eastern banks of Siku Flay. Visitors can enjoy a picnic while participating or watching the water sport on the lake. Annual events taking place at Siku Flay includes provincial and national angling competitions, sailing and rowing regattas, a model aircraft show, and an annual Birdathon fun walk and festival. The 20 pans in the shape of a wagon wheel at Strandfontein Sewage Works is a birder's paradise and are considered the best water bird locality in Cape Town. It is here that birders come to watch flamingos, pelicans, fish eagles, African marsh harriers and many more that one would not expect to see so close to South Africa's mother city. The water levels in the pan are different, creating varying habitats that attract different birds to each of the pans. Roads between the pans are accessible with any sedan car or even a mountain bike. We even spotted an African jacana.